Hi everyone, welcome to the hunt. Theodora is back again with a new model and they're also back in my house with this new model. It is the V7000. They just brought it back from the archives and you may have seen uh, one or the other pictures of it. And uh, you're going to see a couple of collaborations on that model. Ronnie Fike just presented his one. Not too crazy about that one because I think it's a little bit over the top, a little bit too much going on on the shoe for my kind of taste. But there's also the Soulbox one coming out on November 7th and some detailed pictures have leaked today. I wasn't too crazy about the, the first pictures that I saw, the little, little outtakes from, from the whole thing. And uh, but now that the full pictures have leaked, I really have to say that I'm impressed with what they did. And it's uh, black and men, it's always a winner if you do it right. And they have done it right and I'm looking forward to, uh, to that release actually. And uh, maybe I should tell you that it really sucks, so not a lot of people are gonna grab it or trying to grab it, and uh, so it's not good. Don't, don't, don't buy it. It's not good. And um, well, the but the V7000 that I got is from the Premium Edition. It comes in two colors. One is Cat's Rock and dark orange, I think. And the one that I got is the Blue Corsair. I have reviewed the N9000 in two Blue Corsair colors, and that one is called Blue Corsair as well. I seem to have it with the blue. Anyway, um, just released, picked it up from, from Asphalt Gold. I saw it first on the Pata.nl website, and it was sold out, not my size, and I grabbed it the very same night. A friend told me that it is online, and I'm glad I did because the very next day it has been sold out in my size and a lot of all the other sizes or actually basically most of all the other sizes. So uh, if you're lucky you can still find it. I'm gonna post a link in the description of this video and uh, not a lot of talking now, here it is. I will go into the detailed pictures as usual and i pictures as well, of course. And I will also give you some, some insights on the quality and on the sizing actually so stay tuned for these i'll see you on feet <laughs> yeah, so i can't help you enjoy it. talk to you later bye bye all right here we got the detail pictures of the deodora v7000 as you can see the whole shoe is consisting of a leather upper and it changes in Materials a little you have some suede leather here at the heel some suede leather running along the side of the shoe and Continuing to the perforated toe box and the same thing Happening on the middle side of the shoe. You can see that the mid section and the mid paneling here is a smooth leather um, Quality wise the leather is pretty much as the other Diodora GRs uh, which I think is not very much below the Italian ones um, but it is not so much a thumb pleaser like the ASIC Gel Saga that I really just recently um, neither like the Winter Trap Pack or the Blue Goblin I think those are a little bit better a little bit more of a thumb pleaser so uh, this is soft, this is good, this is decent quality you can have a little closer look here but this is not spectacular um, also some suede leather here on the Diodora Sprite. The uh, leather of the perforated part here is about the same as the Reebok Highs and Lows LX8500 that I reviewed some time ago. Um, build quality. I think all in all is, is, it's pretty good. Um, to me at first it was close to perfect. Not a lot of glue stains, a little bit here on the on the leather that you can scratch up with your fingernails or some, some tweezers, not so much of a problem. But upon inspecting it, I discovered two things which turned me a little bit off. Um, not completely, I still like the shoe, that's A. You can see the, um, the line here not being parallel to the one on the top. On this one, it is not so noticeable. As on this one, for example, it's a little bit worse. And what I noticed on this one, as well is that the leather has not been cut in a straight angle. Let's go like a little 45 degree angle, so it's a little bit fizzy, fuzzy here. And uh, that's a little bit of a let out. Like I said, I still like the shoe despite of that, but um, I've seen pictures of, of other models which um, has this crafted a little bit better. Um, outsole being 
black and blue here in the middle. Sizing, um, don't go up from your Ni thousand. I wouldn't also go down. Stick with the with the size you have. I have a size 12 in the Ni thousand. I have the same in this one. It feels a little bit smaller than the Ni thousand, uh, but this might be misleading because the toe box, as you can see, is a little bit more narrow. Some people complain about the Ni thousand having a boxy toe box being too high looking a little bit funny this has a much nicer toe box in my opinion and i think the 7000 is going to find new friends that are not so fun of the n9000 um really looking forward to all the future releases and the and the collaborations coming up on this model here looking forward to the soul box one especially coming up on november 7th and um, it comes with also second set of laces and the sand colorway, but I'm going to stick with the blue ones. Um, I think this is a great release by Deodora, great general, general release, a nice color combination for the fall. And like I mentioned in the N9000 video just a couple of weeks ago, um, we are able now to see more combinations of sand and darker color like blue and black um, for the fall season and winter season 2015-2016. That's it actually from me so far on the review of the shoe. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. The outfit pictures are coming up. If you want to hit me up on social media you can do that on Snubs. I joined there just recently as well and I'm going to post some some early pictures on pickups that I did and uh, of course also Instagram and Twitter and Facebook you can find me as well so if you want to connect please feel free to do so leave a comment message me uh, thumbs up and everything so stay tuned for the Amphi pictures thanks for watching so far